our title today is calculating, calculating equilibrium concentrations knowing K. wonder how we're going to be able to see this. We've got a reaction, and that is hydrogen, H2 gas, plus fluorine gas reacts to give us two hydrogen fluorides, and that's also in the gaseous phase. All right, so, you know, um, bear with me, you guys, because i got to figure out how big I need to make this stuff. Okay, and now what, we're, what happens in this problem is we are given the value of K. So the value of K is equal to 115. Okay, so there's our value for K. Initial concentrations of each component. Initial concentrations of each component. to find here. 
we are asked to find the equilibrium concentrations. All right, so let's get this thing um, <clears throat> set up. So I'm going to make an ice diagram. So I'm just going to do it off of this thing right here. So I have uh, initial change equilibrium. All right. So initially, what are my concentrations of everything? Two, I'm going to change colors just because. I'm going to make the pen. I'm going to make this smaller too. So 2.00, 2.00, and initially we have some product in there too, 2.00. Now, sorry, um, we're trying to get here. <coughs> so. We don't know how much we're going to lose. We got to figure it out. And so, what we're going to do, you guys, we're going to say we've got, we're going to lose some amount that we're going to call x. We're going to lose some amount that we're going to call x. And what are we going to do over here? We're going to add an amount that we're going to call what? 2x. Why are we adding? Because we're making product. So we're making the assumption this thing's going to, you know, we're going to make more product here. Uh, and we always make that assumption. And why do I have a 2 there? Because compared to these two, we are in a 2 ah, No. How do I get rid of that? We, <laughs> 2 to 1. 2 to 1 mole ratio. Okay. So at equilibrium, then, we've got 2.00 minus x. 2.00 minus x and 2.00 plus 2x. Okay, so now what do we have to do? Well, we need to solve for x. So the next thing we're going to do is we are going to plug all of this into the equilibrium expression. See what we get. All right. So what is the value of K? My value of K was 115. So I'm just going to move this down here, you guys, and plug it in. So I have 115 being equal to 2.00 plus 2x. And that quantity is squared over 2.00 minus x times 2.00 minus x. Okay, now, this down here is essentially what? 2.00 minus x quantity squared. You guys need to tell me, what do you think? Is it better if I have a little bit bigger, thicker of a pin size, or can you see that thin pin size? You're going to have to tell me about that tomorrow. All right. Um, so, <clears throat> we can solve this thing pretty doggone easily, actually. Um, we can get rid of our squares by doing what? Taking the square root of both sides. So I'm going to come down here. And I'm going to say the square root of 115 is equal.
equal to the square root of 2 point, actually I want to do that. You guys are going to be able to follow me. Okay, is equal to, so if I take the square root of both sides, essentially what am I going to have over here? I'm going to have 2.00 plus 2x and 2.00 minus 2x. No, wrong. Minus what? X. Okay, now what is the square root of 115? So given this kind of problem, can you solve for x? I hope so. So what we have, all I have on my paper, you guys, is my value of x. And if you solve this thing through, you should come out with x being 1.5, uh, let's call it 1.53. All right. Now, <clears throat> what is that? Is that going to do anything for us at all? What are we looking for? We are looking for equilibrium concentrations. We are looking for these things. So now, what do we have to do with this number, 1.53? We need to plug that number in for those x's, and that will give us the equilibrium concentrations. And so, I'm going to get rid of all of this. So, my hydrogen concentration is equal to my fluorine concentration. And those are both equal to 2.00 minus 1.53. Okay, so what are the concentrations of those point? 0 0.470 molar. Okay, so those are my equilibrium concentrations for hydrogen and fluorine. Okay, and what about HF? It's going to be 2 plus 2 times 1.53. So that is going to be equal to 5.06 molar. All right. So this problem was pretty straightforward because these two things were identical, so we ended up just being able to take the square root of both sides. <clears throat> but what if these things were not identical? Then what would we have to do? Well, that means that we would have to foil everything and set it up in quadratic form and then solve for x using the quadratic formula. So we'll talk about that more in class tomorrow, but otherwise